Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, last time uh, we did um, this this rating. Okay, so today um, I'm going going to show you a different different method. Okay, so but um, because we already did this one, so um, I'm going to use this one. So if I go to, I want to use this uh, balustrade um, panel. Okay, so will be here on the rating and I'm going to right click and edit so this is uh, so this is a ge geometry of this uh, balustrade so I'm going to use this one but because this is uh, so if you look at here so you will see we can't it's a balustrade okay baluster we can't we can't change the family category here we can't change it to a different category so what I'm going to do is I'll just create a new family so this time I'm going to create a generic model and okay so go back to this I'm going to just select everything here Control C and go back to that uh, new family so I'm going to just go under modify paste and align to current view so this will just paste these geometry into this new family. So let's have a look in 3D view. It will be exactly uh, in the same location. Okay, so if you go back to floor plan, so you will see it's it's sitting this way. So if I go back to this family, go to floor plan, see the same. But we need to add some uh, reference plans and and also parameters because the in this uh, let's go to left. So you will see this is a buster a family. So we have all these parameters, but after we paste um, after we paste that into the new family here, so we actually we lost um, I think we lost some parameter. So that's that's okay. So so see there's no width, no height, only the geometry. So we just need to add some. Uh, parameter ourselves so go create some reference plan so RP okay so and also this horizontal one so this will, will be the height dimension so this 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 equal and these two so this will be the the width okay so let's create a width parameter I'll call it width and I'm going to use instance parameter so we also need the height so from here to I'm going to use tab to pick the reference plan. Okay, so now create a new parameter. Let's call it height and instance as well. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to select. So this is a sweep. So we did we we did a sweep in that. Um, so the last uh, exercise. So I'm going to edit sweep. And also, I want to. So actually, hang on, let me cancel this one. I want to. So currently, you will see uh, these sweeps, these geometries. They are not uh, associated to any work plan. So this is not. Um, sometimes it's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'll select this and edit work plan, and I'll just place this onto the, the center left to right work plan. Okay, so. Um, same this one okay all good and then this one same so this will make sure um, there's something you know and also this one as well it, it won't make any difference but just um, uh, <laughs> I think at least it just constrain all this family onto this reference plan I think it will be good so go to go back to the left view so at this time edit this uh, sweep so I'm going to select so click on this sketch path so this will allow us to adjust this one so to see currently it's not linked to a constraint to anything so what we need to do is a L align so which is this one a L pick this reference plan pick this sketch and a lock and also I want to do, do, do this so pick this one reference plan and pick this point and the lock same I'm going to pick the reference plan so this one so see this dash 
this is level, so it's a dot dash. Okay, so this is reference plan, and pick this point lock, and OK, and OK. So now you will see this swipe will follow this reference plan and also follow the height of this one. So if we change the height, oh, <laughs> it looks OK, but we still it's better to just constrain constrain it. So edit sweep, sketch path, AL, oops, AL, lock, lock, and also reference reference plan, so tab, so this one dash, okay, so dash, and finish, and I finish, and finish. So now you will see, all good. And then same, I'm going to do this one. So edit sweep, so see this, edit path, align AL, and I'm going to, so I think this one's, it's, 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 it's constrained to this face of this one, so which is good. So I'll just leave it and finish and finish. All good. So this one's following these two, so all good. So now this is, I think this is it. So this is a new generic model with all this uh, geometry and also constraint and uh, with um, some parameters okay so now we can so uh, actually i'm going to load this into a um a new family so you have different options you can create a generic model use reference plans and the dimensions parameters control the width or you can also use line based which is basically uh, very similar but just uh, it's already there so see this this is um, works uh, like um, similar to a adaptive family so two points adaptive family so when you draw it you place two points this point is a starting point and this point okay so now let's go back to the this family so which is a generic model yeah this one and I'm, I'm going to load this into the new family okay so and oh, actually I forgot one thing so currently you see uh, I can just I can't place onto a word plan so I can just place it uh, like this okay I uh, we we can't pick place onto a word plan so what I'm going to do is I'll just go back here go in the properties see this one here so work plan based check this one so this will allow us to place this this uh, family onto the reference plan also reference line okay so load this back into the family two and this time just overwrite and go back to create a component so now this time you have the option to place either on face or work plan so in this uh, case it will be place on word plan and then we have the option to see here pick okay so click on pick and then pick a plan and okay so now we can pick the word plan of this reference line see this dashed uh, shape so this is the word plan of this reference line just pick it and then we can just place it so now we can just press press uh, space to uh, to rotate this family so I'm going to just place it here okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, drag this a little bit to the right maybe I'll just type in three meter okay so and then I'll also reduce the size of this one so maybe I'll make it uh, one meter what I'm going to do is I'll place this one on this um, actually I'm going to create a array okay select this one AR and I'm going to use the uh, last, last. So I'm going to place this one so to roughly here. And I'll just leave it as two. I'll just drag this up a little bit, select this one. So this is the number of the array. So we can create a parameter for this one. I'm going to call it number NO, instance, and OK. So now what I want to do is I want to create a new parameter to control the um, control the size roughly the size of these but it will be a nominal 
because uh, it's not actual width but a nominal I'll call it nominal width and in instance so this will be a width we type in so um, I think it will be let, let's try so it's just one meter okay so one meter and okay so now we we can get the number of the here so use this nominal width and also the length so let's do this the number equals length divided by nom nominal width okay so so this this will give us a three Allow, uh, apply okay so now we just need to al align so this reference plan and just move to here so move see this reference plan so this blue color so this is a reference plan of this family so and lock and here same here and lock so now let's try so if i move this reference plan up a little bit so it will increase the number a reduced number it looks like we need to add a um i think a round up or round down i'm not quite sure yet but let's try round up okay so and and so round up round up bracket and in the bracket it will be length divided by nominal width apply okay so um nope looks like uh it's overlapping maybe we need to round down instead okay so apply okay okay so i think that's better but we still need to control the width of so these so which means uh, let's create a new so it will be actual actual width okay so instance and actual width equals the length divided by number right so apply and okay so now what we need to do is we need to link this so family uh, the width uh, the width oh we also have the height that's fine so let's just do the width for now actual width okay okay so it looks like we have some issue here um, okay so looks like because uh, because we we use instance parameter for the width so maybe we should go back edit this family and change the instance parameter to go to left so this is the width which is instance parameter so just uncheck this one this will uh, change change this parameter to a type parameter so height maybe same let's just uncheck this instance parameter to make it a type parameter okay so now load this back override override so now what we're going to do is select this uh hell what's going on here so let me just move this a little bit so there okay so it looks like uh, it um the width so it's the width become go back to two meter so it's it's okay just edit this group and so because now it's a, a type parameter so when you go to edit type so you will see this is the parameter so we go with change this to match actual width um, hang on. let me try this okay so looks like we have some issue but let's try finish this and maybe align this again so see what happens all good all good let's try again move this okay i think it's better now yeah it works so now you will see when i move when i move this reference plan so which means when i change this one overall length it will change the, the number of these individual um the, uh, panel and also it will work out what the um using the nominal width to work out what uh, the number is and then from the number to work out what actual width is 
Okay, so let them try. So five, five point five meter. Yeah, all good. So go back here. So nominal width is one meter. Um, okay, actual width is one point one. Maybe we need to do this one. Sorry, we need to go round up again. So, so this will um, make this nominal width a maximum width, I, I believe. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so okay, and so I'll try six. If I try five, nine, nine, nine. So that's six. Six. Six meter should be six, yeah. And one, one more, one, six, uh, six meter and one millimeter, uh, millimeter will become seven. Yeah, great. So now we can actually change this one to a. Uh, we can rename this one. So, so we can do max, max maximum width. Okay. So it's more, it's it's uh, clearer. Okay. So now if you change. It, this maximum width, of course, it will change the number of this as well, and that's that's it. So now, this is a line-based uh, family. So we can, if I create a new project, and so we can place this one into the project. So let's go back here, load this into the project, and we can place it onto a, either a work plan, so for example, work plan onto the level. So this is current work plan is ground floor level. So place it like this, like a line, draw a line, okay? Like this, and even you can trim them or whatever. <laughs> okay, and also, um, yeah, and also you can add that um, another, another sweep. So what I'm going to do is I will, I think in this baluster, oh, not this one, sorry, go back to this one, go back to this one. So this is actually a profile. So I think it should be here, profile, oh, see this one. I'm going to um, edit this profile, load this into that family, the line based family, okay. And then in here, we can just go to 3D view, create a sweep, pick path, and I just pick this reference line and finish this time. We have, because we have this profile, we can just load it. And then we just need to adjust. So you will see this location, actually, this reference line sitting in the middle of these panels. So we can just offset to align with uh, this face, so which let me try 75, uh, the other side, negative 75. So now that's it. So now we can just finish it and then that's it. And of course, if you want to, you can just, um, I think you can lift this up. So let's have a look. So edit group, select this. So in here, you will see offset from host. Okay, so just type in. 150, I believe. Okay, all good. And then, of course, you can edit group, select this one, edit type, because we have this height parameter, we can just create a height parameter to control, control all these panels. Okay, finish. Now, into family types, so you have this height, uh, so you can change it here, so it will change the overall height. And that's it. So now if I load this into the project, overwrite, go to 3D view, and this is it. And also because they, they are, although they are line based, you can trim them, it won't be perfect. See here, so you just need to uh, probably fix it yourself. Okay, so that's it for today. And um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.